Okay, so we just talked about this short fat hour hand. What about this other hand, this long skinny hand? What do we call that and what does it tell us? Say it out loud. I bet you said it's the long skinny minute hand and it tells us how many minutes into the hour we are. Every hour, every one of these little slices of the clock pie has 60 minutes in it. We learned yesterday that when the long skinny minute hand is pointing at the 12, just like it is right now, we're at the start of a new hour. Like right now, we are at the start of the hour of one or one o'clock. The minute hand always starts at the 12 like this, and then it moves all the way around the clock in a circle, a full 60 minutes back to the 12. Watch the hands closely as I move the minute hand 60 minutes. Pay special attention to, to the hour hand and what happens. So I'm starting at the 12 and I'm moving around I'm gonna go all the way around the circle. I'm halfway around and all the way back to the 12. There I am. Did you see that? When we started, this hour hand was pointing at the one. But now, after I move my minute hand all the way around 60 minutes, it's pointing at the two. Why did that happen? Say why you think that happened out loud. Maybe you said it happened because the time changed 60 minutes or one hour. Every time that that minute hand goes all the way around the clock, 60 minutes around, one hour has gone by and it's the start of a new hour. Let's go around again. And I'll move the minute hand, the 60 minutes around the clock. And let's see what time it's gonna be. So, moving it the full circle. And now it's, Say it with me, three o'clock. Very cool. But what happens if this minute hand doesn't go the full 60 minutes around the clock? What would happen if it only went halfway around the clock? Let's find out. Starting at the 12 and I'm gonna go around the clock, but I'm gonna stop halfway right there at the six. Huh, what do you notice happened to the hour hand? Say what you notice out loud. I bet you noticed that it's halfway through this pink section of the clock. See, it's pointing right halfway through it. That's right. Why does that make sense that when I move the minute hand halfway, the hour hand is now halfway through this section of the clock? Say why that makes sense out loud. That makes sense because we move the minute hand half of the way around the clock. So it's halfway through the hour. So our hour hand also moved one half of the way through the hour. When the minute hand is pointing to the six like this, it's 30 minutes into or half past the hour. So right now it's half past three or 3.30. Let's try one more. I'll change the time and we'll see if we can tell what time I've changed it to. Uh, 
right. There we go. Do you know what time it is? If you do, that's great. You can help the rest of the team figure it out too. What should we look at to tell the time? Say it out loud. We should look at the hands. We always look at the clock's hands, the hour hand, and the minute hand to tell what time it is. So let's start with our hour hand. What hour is it in? Point to the hour section it's in on the screen. You should be pointing right here to this yellow section. We can see the hour hand is right there in that section. What hour is that section of the clock? Maybe you know, but it's sort of tricky to tell. So let's count around the clock to be sure. We can start at the one right here and go around until we get to where our hour hand is right here. Count the hours with me. You can point with your finger and count out loud. This is the hour of one. And we have the hour of two. This red section is three, four, five, six. And here we are in the hour of seven. So we're in the hour of seven. Now that we know the hour, we need to figure out the minutes. Point to the minute hand on your screen. It's right here. What number is it pointing at? Say it out loud. I bet you said it's pointing at the six. There it is. If you remember what that means about the number of minutes we are into the hour, say it out loud now. When the long skinny minute hand is pointing at the six like this, we are halfway around the clock, halfway through the hour, or 30 minutes in. So our minutes are 30. That means it's 7, 30, or half past the hour of 7, half past 7.